In a crucial Group D clash at the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023, England took on Denmark with last 16 qualification at stake. The Lionesses displayed a much improved performance compared to their previous match, securing a 1-0 victory. Lauren James, making her first World Cup start, quickly made her mark by scoring a stunning goal from the edge of the box just six minutes into the game. Her early strike proved to be the decisive moment of the match, announcing her talent on the global stage. However, the celebration was cut short when England's key midfielder, Kara Walsh, suffered a worrying injury. She was taken off on a stretcher after going down with what appeared to be a knee injury. The injury dampened the atmosphere in the stadium filled with passionate England supporters. Denmark tried to capitalize on the change of momentum, creating chances to equalize, but England's defense held strong. The Lionesses' halftime lead was well-deserved, and Lauren James continued to impress with her creativity and flair, proving she deserves a regular starting spot with the team. In the second half, both teams fought hard, with England controlling the play and Denmark seeking an equalizer. Despite Denmark's efforts, England's defense remained resolute, and the Lionesses managed to secure the important victory. The win puts England on the brink of last 16 qualification, but their joy is tempered by concerns over Kira Walsh's injury. As they prepare for their final Group D match against China, England will need to rally and show their resilience to continue their World Cup campaign. Denmark, on the other hand, still have a chance to qualify as they face Haiti in their final group game. The FIFA Women's World Cup continues to provide thrilling matches and intense competition as teams fight for glory on the grandest stage of women's football. Don't miss the thrilling highlights from this action-packed encounter. Subscribe and stay tuned for more exhilarating matches and surprises.